like to start out this video by reciting a poem. I would like everyone to be prepared for this poem. Would you ever believe that a fire is set each time I try to sleep? With all the beautiful friends that you always depend to stay in the light of fame. They want you there to save a life, but only if you're dressed in what they like. You sin for fun and fall away. You're just a pawn. Aren't you lucky you're a bleeder? Oh. Aren't you lucky you're a bleeder? Oh. So hold your razor wide, wide, and swing it to the skies, guys. Aren't you lucky you're a bleeder? Oh. Do what you need to stay alive. Hey guys, today we are going to unveil the Bleeders Collection from Black Veil Brides and Curse Cosmetics. I have to give both Black Veil Brides and Curse Cosmetics a huge shout out for including me in this PR collab. This is the final look. I can't wait to show you everything that's in this collection. I am blown away by the collection, so without further ado, let's get into it. P.S. Do I look like I'm channeling my Andy Black today? Because that's how, that was what we were going for. For now, I received this massive PR box from Cursed Cosmetics. And I think this is the Black Veil Brides collection. I'm on the PR list. I cannot wait to open it. I'm going to attempt an unboxing video, but this box is massive. So I have the cursed card up front as always. You can always use my code too. I know this collection has been in the works forever. Now I know the CEO from Cursed and I know she has been working on this collab forever and she wanted to make it as perfect as possible. Uh, she had so much success. Obviously Cursed had a massive amount of success with Chris Motionless and Motionless in White. Look at the back of this guys. It's 3D um, foil printed, so this cost a pretty penny to be printed. I can guarantee that. So give me a second to see how she opens up. Front, it is magnetic. So I'm going to keep this like exactly like this. I'm not going to get rid of it. But this is what she looks like on the inside. Wow. Beautifully done, Cursed. You're starting to get really good at this. So let's see, it comes with a makeup mirror, a palette, which I know that Andy Black personally had a lot of, you know, hands on when it came to the palette. Ombre lip kit, and there's a makeup bag. Ooh, this looks nice. And then Bleeders lip oil. I feel bad at destroying this and taking it apart, but we have to see what this is all about, right? Even the inside of this has the bleeders on it. The inside, isn't that cool? I can't wait to open and swatch everything. So first, let's start with the easiest thing, which is, oh, it's a makeup brush set. I didn't even know that they were doing a makeup brush set. So we have lots of blendable brushes. I'm gonna use all of these today. Let's open them right now. An eight piece brush set. These are beautiful brushes. They all have the Bleeders and Black Veil Bride logo on them. Very great blendable brush set, synthetic brushes. And love this bag. I honestly think I'm gonna keep this in my purse for something. Okay, we have the Ombre Lip Kit. Ugh. You know, the worst part about getting these specialized kits in is like I did the same thing with Motionless and White. I hated to open it. Like, if it were me, I would be a collector of this and I would never touch it because it's just so special. So we have a black pencil lip liner. Pencil lip liners are my favorite. They're preferred over retractable because you can get them really sharp. I'm sure this is, yep, it is cursed quality as normal. Very sharp, very pigmented. Now let's take a peek at the lipstick. So it is, I assumed it was gonna be sort of a mauve, mauve reddish tone. Let's swa I hate swatching it, you know? Like, I just don't wanna ruin it. Oh, it looks mauve, but it is red. It is Bleeders Red. I love, so we're definitely gonna be trying this today. Packaging again is just on point. Foiled packaging. It's Beautiful. Okay, lip oils are the hotness right now. So this is the Bleeders Lip Oil. Once again, packaging's just on point with this. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it is a red and clear liquid lip oil that looks like blood. That's amazing. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it here. So it looks like oil and water, you know, that kind of consistency. I love these kinds of lip oils. It's gonna be so fun to wear. Next thing is the makeup mirror. Let's open her up. This is a cute travel size makeup mirror. Look how cute this is. And it goes perfectly inside of this bag, I'm assuming, so you could take it with you. That's gonna be my perfect travel mirror. 
closes all the way. Of course, the piece we've all been waiting for, the actual eyeshadow palette. Wow, beautifully done. Look at this. And then the back has the obviously cursed logo and all of the guys. It's leather, I think, or like a faux leather on top. Wow, beautifully done. Cursed palettes are beautiful. The consistency is always there. So let me count what we have here. It looks like we have one, two, three shimmers. We have three glitters. We have mattes and some sheens where they have like not totally matte. You can tell that they have some sheen to it. I'm really dying to see what friends look like. Butter, butter, butter. Look at this. It's like a silver chrome. I have to swatch it, I'm sorry. I just can't wait. It's like an icy silver chrome. Mm, that's calling my name. I wanna swatch sort of some of each. This is Sunday, which looks like, oh wow, they're very, be gentle, they're very soft, which means they're very expensive pigments. This is like a white sheen. It would be a beautiful icy highlight is what Sunday is. Priest looks really pretty. It's almost the same consistency. It's like a gray sheen. I'm gonna put that next to it. Priest is very creamy as well. Revenge looks like a black matte and Curse has some of the best black eyeshadows on the market. If you know, you know. Very much their typical matte black consistency with no fallout. Now they have some shimmers in here that I'm sort of dying to see what they are as well. We have to try that. It's like a glittery, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I don't even know how to describe this. I mean, I do think there's chunks of glitter in it, but it's so soft. Wow, it's like a pure black glitter. It's up here. Blade is really pretty. It's like a rainbow icy sort of white glitter. Yeah, it almost comes out like a rainbow yellow sort of glitter to the very top, so it's very sheer. Rubies, which is quite red. It's a white glitter. I wanna try rubies, which is a red glitter. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it is like a pure glitter shadow. So when I see my palette that I'm gonna be working with, I have to immediately try to decide, you know, what color scheme I'm gonna go with. I really feel like we need to do red under the eye and the top needs to be, you know, red is for bleeders, obviously. We need to stick with the theme of their music video. Oh, I realized there is a mirror here too. I didn't realize there was a mirror there. Very thick cardboard. Like this is the nicest palette Curse has come out with so far. I think I'm gonna do something dark on the on the upper eye, um, but I really think wanna incorporate this silver friends as well because it's pretty, so let's get to work. I do have DIY eyelashes on right now. They last like three to four days, so I need to be a little bit careful going around those. I'm first gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush with some P. Louise and I'm going to just add a base. We'll start there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my Bleeders brush set. And I think I'm first going to start with, I think I'm gonna try Alive, which is like this taupey sort of shade. It's just really sort of calling my name. So I'm going to add Alive to the top part of my eye to sort of start creating that cut crease shape that I always do. Okay, taking a fresh fluffy brush, I think I'm going to add just a little bit of Silhouetted, which is like a matte brown. I don't want a ton. I just want to slowly start darkening this crease so that when we hit the black, it's not as obvious. It's more of the ombre effect. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the iconic matte black shadow that Curse makes. You know, they kind of specialize more in stage makeup. That's what the CEO always tells me is that what she sort of prefers. Chris Motionless, Motionless and White also use her products with Angela, their makeup artist behind set for tour. So I'm just gonna start packing on some dark shadow because I just feel like this wouldn't be an alternative goth look inspo for Black Veil Brides if there wasn't black shadow involved. Now I am going to keep this a little bit segregated and the reason is I'm going to add a glitter liner 
once we're done. So this is definitely like a trust the process sort of process. Next, I'm gonna go back in and create sort of a wet base with a flat brush and P. Louise because I want a place for this silver shadow to really stand out. So I'm taking like a pea size amount of P. Louise and I'm not putting a ton on, but I am gonna sort of cut the inside of this crease so that I have a placement ready for that silver shadow. So remember, alt and goth makeup isn't, you know, the typical clean girl makeup. It's not clean girl aesthetic, right? Like, usually it's a little bit more disconnected. It's a little bit more, I think, freeing, honestly. I feel like clean girl makeup is kind of boring. You can be a lot more edgy and alternative when it comes to stage makeup. Okay, I have a flat brush from the Bleeders collection. I'm going to dip into that silver, which is Friends. And usually Cursed has really buttery good. Yeah, it's picking up beautifully. But I just do this kind of slow in steps because I want it to look right. Sometimes I will go back in with my finger to sort of press it in, but I'm gonna go ahead and place this over that cut crease. Now that it's on the eye, I'm just gonna go ahead and press it in. Sometimes that gives it a little bit more of a metallic finish, but I wanted it to be in a precise placement. Yeah, I love how that's coming together so far. I have to sort of decide what sort of glitter I wanna add. I'm worried black will sort of melt into the rest of it, but we're gonna try it anyway. Get all the glitter. I keep my glitters in baggies because they go bad very fast. So if you keep them in a air sealed bag, they last longer. Because I just have this sitting here, I'm gonna go with the Moira one in the shade After Dark. It's a very heavy, metal heavy glitter liner And for this one, I'm gonna swoop this out quite a bit. This is for you, Andy Black. So see how that just keeps the cut crease and it just, I don't know, it gives it a little bit more oomph in my opinion for the look. I think to make this look more dramatic, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this crease up right here and just sharpen it on the edges. Wow, so far, I'm in love and obsessed with the palette. I love how that looks. Okay, we're gonna do red next. I think that I'm going to do the shade Bleeders, which is red, but I really wanna dip into this like red glitter. I just feel like we wouldn't be doing a bleeder look without it. I also love there's like a random orange. I mean, the shade's called Hell, but I feel like this would also make the perfect Halloween palette. Like you have all the Halloween colors you need. Next brush from the Bleeders set, I'm going to take the shade Bleeders, and it's a matte red, so we're gonna use this under the eye. I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I don't really have a plan, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now, I'm winging it. Like, part of me wants to keep that there, but then another part of me wants to be like, oh, the drama. And I really need to kind of buff out some of this red. So I'm just gonna take my last clean brush from the brush set. And I kind of just wanna blur, just blur it. Because once again, we're doing kind of dramatic stage look, stage presence. This would be excellent concert makeup. Step is somehow figuring out how we're gonna incorporate this red glitter, and the answer is I don't know yet. Actually, first I think I'm gonna pop on some eyeliner. My favorite pencil is from Essence. It's only like $3.99. It is the Stay and Play, Play and Stay, whichever um, eyeliner from Essence at Ulta. And I'm going to waterline, tightline, and I think I'm gonna smudge a little bit into the red as well. Yeah, obsessed so far. Okay, let's go in with, there's an angled brush in that um, set that I got. And now we're gonna go in for rubies, which is a red glitter, like legit red glitter. 
And once again, I don't know if I really have a plan for this. Like, part of me wants to make, like, little bleeder, um, like, drag down, you know what I mean? Okay, just on top, you know, I wanted to see how it performed. It goes on, like, butter. I mean, did you see that? Can you see it? Really beautiful glitter, honestly. Whatever formula this is, it's very smooth. I don't know, this, is, this has been fun so far. I'm in love. Okay, I just want to smooth a couple little pieces back out again. I'm adding a little bit more black here and there just to like, I kind of want it disconnected. I'm not going to lie. Like this isn't going to be totally a smooth sort of look. I'm just adding a little black shadow here and there. Now I do think this set is going to be a limited edition. So if it's something you want, it's kind of going to be like the motionless in white set where it's only temporary. So if you want this, use my code, grab it now. I had to grab a hat because Andy Black is all about black and leather and he has that like pale skin with the blonde hair so I just felt like I really needed something to kind of give that oomph to, give that vibe. Okay we have a couple of things left, we're going to use the mirror to do the lip kit. So this is going to be an ombre lip kit. I always say line your lips how you prefer. I overlined just slightly so that my cupid's bow is a little bit more predominant. I really want this to be like almost a Dracula vibe sort of lip. So I am feathering the sides. I'm taking an extra little brush, clean brush, and I'm just gonna feather this out so that there's no harsh lines. Lip liner is super creamy, love the lip liner. Okay, now we're gonna go for this red. I'm so excited to try this on. So this we're just gonna kind of bounce in the middle. You can make it super opaque or not as opaque. I'm just going to build it up for a minute. That's really pretty. The really creamy consistency on the lippy too. Doesn't feel drying. I'm just going to add a little bit more liner. I love how it has the Black Veil Brides logo in the actual lipstick as well. Okay, we're definitely in need of some setting spray. Okay, now I did change into something a little bit more Andy appropriate, right? I'm channeling Andy. I've got my low cut. His chest is always showing. Oh, let's just, can we all agree with one thing? That he is beautiful, right? Like, I'm not wrong, right? Like, he is just one of those humans that walks among us. Like, where did you come from? The last thing we need to try, though, is probably the product I'm most excited about because this is just so cool. Isn't this cool? It's like a lava lamp lip gloss. So I'm trying to decide how to do this. Lip oils and lip liners aren't the best combo because oils won't mix. They'll end up running the lip liner off anyway. But I'm going to take this off. Add a liner just to show, you know, the the area of my lips to accentuate it, and then we'll just do the lip oil. I'll be right back. This is a spell liner. Um, this is from Curse Cosmetics. It's the red shade. I can't remember what shade this is. I think it's like Bloodlust or something like that. Okay, I don't really want to add too much of this lip shade or lip liner shade because I really want to be able to see the actual oil. I just want I want to take some pictures. I don't want it to look funny. I love their lip liners. They're so good. I just I'm a, a bigger fan of pencil liners. They perform the best the way they're supposed to perform for a lip liner. Now the Bleeders lip oil. You can't really mix it because it's meant to stay kind of segregated, but it looks like blood. It's just so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little bleeders mirror and we're going to go for it. It's definitely got a red tint to it.
Okay, so once it mixes, it looks like blood red, like legit. Like look at my top lip compared to my bottom lip. It smells like cherries. Very light hint, very light hint. love this shade it's almost like a cherry red and when you're done with it it literally looks like blood is in the bottle it is so cool I don't know how they formulated this but it's amazing I love how there's two different red lip options where you have the really dark lip and then the lip oil which is almost like a cherry lip I have to thank Curse Cosmetics Mariel the CEO she's one of my dear friends I love you Mariel thank you so much for including me again on this collaboration it's so amazing I also had to give a shout out to Black Veil Brides for including me in the collaboration as well I've gotten to see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff again and it's just a really fun process to watch this actually come to life I am so proud of Black Veil Brides and Curse Cosmetics for making this, you know, come to fruition. What an amazing project you guys did. Remember, you can use my code Crystal Leandra to save for this collection. I really don't want to use this, much like the, the Motionless in White collection. I, um, I want to put this back in its case and keep it that way forever, but it was definitely fun trying this for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the collection. What do you guys love? I mean, I can't say there isn't anything I dislike. I love everything. It's very different, very unique. It very much fits the Black Veil Brides theme. Let me know what you picked up in the collection or what you're gonna get. Make sure you leave me a comment, show me some love, and as always, I will catch you guys next time. Are you lucky you're a bleeder?